Okay. Picture yourself in a very sunny day sitting in a garden, contemplating at the interactions between insects and flowers. You may easily recognize bees because of their black and yellow stripes, but what if I tell you that most bees don't look like that? Bees are a very diverse group of animals and they come in different colors, shapes, sizes, and so do flowers. Bees and flowers have built strong, very strong interactions, making some bees specialize in visiting one single flower. However, many other bees, they don't seem to prefer only one flower. They are called generalists, and this is the case of most common bumblebees uh, species. Uh, but is it completely true that they don't have flower preferences? Researchers have found that bumblebees, they prefer some flower features uh, for instance, long-thumb bumblebees prefer to visit tubular flowers and short-thumb bumblebees prefer to visit flat-shaped flowers. And this is just one of many examples. Another key flower feature that has been less studied is the flower smell. Flower smells are complex mixtures of chemicals that are unique for each plant species, allowing us to distinguish between the smell of a rose and the smell of a lavender. Bumblebees can distinguish these smells as well. So, do bumblebees have floral preferred smells? In my research, I aim to find if bumblebees have preferred flowers um, in the field and also if they have flower smell preferences and how these preferences vary across bumblebee species. To answer these questions, I searched for flowers visited by the most common bumblebee species in the UK. I collect the flower perfumes and later I analyze these perfumes in the lab. Interestingly, I have found that different species of bumblebees have preferences towards certain flowers. And these preferences also vary between male and bee females. This suggests that bumblebees, they might not be as generalist as we thought. Currently, I am also studying the flower perfumes to identify the role of this flower feature in bumblebee flower choices. Understanding the complexity of flower preferences and smell preferences in bumblebees has a broad impact in conservation. As we all know, now we are facing a global bee decline. So this research will help to enhance our efforts in protecting and preserving bee diversity. Finally, I want to invite you that next time that you sit in your garden, pay attention to diversity of bees. Appreciate them and just acknowledge that they are tiny, but they are highly complex and very important animals for our ecosystems. Thanks for listening.